Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have our very special guest. He is part of our podcast community. He has his own podcast with The Advisor, so check his podcast out. He is a wonderful gentleman. His name, I call him Jimmy T, and he <laughs> is the founder of Little Iguanas. They are a children's safety foundation, and they are an amazing foundation that helps children uh, to grow, to be healthy, young wonderful children and he has a great story today to tell he wants to talk today and he wants to help people take become little leaders of their own he wants to show people how to become ambassadors of kindness and he's going to talk to a little today and he's going to tell us some really great things so i i urge you to open your ears and listen to what he has to say but before we begin i just want to give a quick shout out to the happy wellness expo They'll be in Livingston, New Jersey, and they have an excellent uh, um, expo coming up. They have over 100 um, exhibitors there, and they'll have different coaches, doctors, uh, different technologies there, different natural products. And they urge you to look in the description box and to look at the um, information. They also have tables open, so if you're looking to maybe have a table at their expo, the number to contact them will be in the description box. So, Jim, how are you doing today? It's, I'm so excited Wonderful. to have you back on the show. Thank you. I'm just getting ready for the big snowstorm of 2024 happening tomorrow up here in New Hampshire. Well, I hope it <laughs> I hope it stays in New Hampshire. It doesn't come my way. <laughs> Makes everything clean for a couple of days, you know? Yeah. Everything just turns white and every all the all the dirty goes away. <laughs> it's okay. I don't need the white anymore. <laughs> 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 so tell everybody a little about you and your foundation if they haven't heard any of your previous podcasts i want them to learn a little about you and what your foundation is all about sure well we'll kick it off with as we say the 10 second tour that lasts for hours but uh we uh we've been around 30 years in fact august will be our 30th anniversary and we save young children two through ten uh, focus group two through eight, but we have extended um, autistic children challenged any le learning level. And we teach them how to be safe and kind. And we do it, you know, save them from abduction, child predators, trafficking, everyday preventable serious injuries. Um, we instill self-worth, self-esteem, which is so important for young children, even adults. Um, we we teach them respect for themselves as well as respect for everyone around them and everything around them. You don't have to hurt, hate, you know, um, life is, is hard enough for everybody. We just teach them how to get through in a kid-friendly way, music-driven, of course, because, you know, as we've talked about it in the past, very hard to remember anything that you've learned when you were a kid. I turned 61. I, I don't remember anything. I don't, don't, you know, not because of anything more than I had ADHD or have it, you know, suffered from, uh, from it when I was a child, you know, had tough time reading, tough time focusing, um, excelled very well sport wise and other activities. That's why I always urge parents you know school may not always be the thing for their kids but let them try things drums and piano and guitar and 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 sports or activities or hiking or anything that yeah you know because we all learn differently and we all you know when we were kids and we would skateboard my parents would say oh don't be skateboarding you're not gonna get anything you're not can't make any money on it now you got Tony Hawk making millions of dollars. So, you know, mm -hmm. don't let anybody talk you out of your dreams or, you know, talk them out of anything. But Little Iguana will be celebrating 30 years in August. We're kicking it off with our worldwide It's Easy to Be Kind day. Um, it's focused all about just how do we get back to the days when we were where you help everyone around yourself, you know, in your neighborhood, you, you shoveled, you raked, you were kind, you, you babysat, you walked someone's dog, you helped an elderly person or a handicapped person, not looking for anything more than you did it and you made yourself feel good inside. You're not looking for money. You're not looking for, you know, attaboys or attagirls or whatever. You did it because that's how you were raised and so 
This day is all about how we will change the world back again for the better just by following simple rules, such as treat others the way you want to be treated. Not with a religious tone, unless that's the way you want it. That's okay. But as I have always told people, we're here for the human being person. We're here because we are humans that want to help everybody achieve what they can achieve in their lives. You know, they 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 look at themselves as failures a lot of times. They don't like who they are, so they have to strike out at others and be angry at others and do things to others because they're not content with who they are. So we get back to those days of them doing things for others and it makes them feel better, gives them self-worth, it gives them self-esteem so that they don't fall prey to things and people and toxic relationships of of, you know, oh, why'd you stay with them? And you hear a lot of people, not any fault, no blame. Oh, I had nowhere else to go. Well, this will give you other places to go. So what we try to do is this day is all about being kind. We're going to kick it off with a big song called It's Easy to Be Kind, mm -hmm. where we're asking for church choirs, school choirs, elementary school bands and 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 groups and and any bands and individuals that could sing or don't even can't sing, but they just want to make a video to make themselves, you know, singing our song. And we're going to share this with the world. Everybody, we have 50 artists that took part as collaborators from 28 countries. Um, we have some schools that already have made their videos for us that sent them in and they're really, really great videos. So we're going to just share it with the world. We're going to ask people to send in their, their um, random acts of kindness, things that they do in the world for others so that we can show people what they can do. Oh, I don't know what to do. A lot of people say to me, oh, I, I don't know what I can do. Well, we want to give them ideas. So we want people to see it from all over the world. We all, once we see each other for who we are, you know, people say, oh, those, those darn so-and-sos from that country, those darn so-and-so, you know, you sit down and you start talking to each one of us. And, you know, I'm Polish. My grandparents came to Ellis Island. You know, my, my, my father, my grandfather was Polish. My grandmother was Ukrainian, Hungary, you know, wherever, whatever it was that, that week, you know, the, that the country was that time. Yeah. They came over on the same boat. They didn't even know each other. They didn't meet on the boat, but years later they met, fell in love, you know, started a, a family, taught us, instilled in us things that, that have gone away in our society the kindness of the, of the world, the respect for each other, the sitting around having a grilling session, you know, and everybody brings a little bit of something and, and they're laughing and not one of them are the same nationality. They're all different nationalities, but yet no one sees each other for hatred because they're from that country or that country. They see them as their neighbor now. And, and, and this is what the day will, will feature. They will feature us back to being human beings, back to mm -hmm. us being kind from our hearts, being out there in the world, trying to teach each other that I'm not bad because I'm this. I'm not bad because I'm this. I'm just like you. And um, that's really what it's going to be. And it's going to be a great, great afternoon celebration. We're uh, going to host it up here, but everybody gets to host it in their community. That's why we're looking for ambassadors of kindness so that they can have their kindness party where they play the song that we give them. They can either sing it together. They could just show the people in the video of who attended it so that we can share, share that with everybody in every country. So, like I said, that's my long winded tour of, of, of what we're trying to accomplish. But, you know, our programs are so powerful, Stacy. We, we've saved children as young as age three from the worst of the worst. We've saved 16 year olds who remembered our silly, stupid songs when they 
went to our program when they were eight years old and they heard run, 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 yell and tell and escaped the level three, you know, offender who was trying to abduct her. I mean, the programs are, are so strong for young children that they absorb it. They understand it, but they're so powerful because they're taught through music and, and learn play, play learning where they don't even realize that they're learning it because yeah. it's fun it's music and we're laughing and we're looking at my friend over here who's singing and we're looking at my friend over there that's clapping and we're looking at my other friend who's dancing they see that everybody's having fun so they have fun and and they let their guard down to allow the information to be absorbed and they're not fighting it or saying oh that's stupid or that's dumb because you know so and so said it was stupid so right. i have to say it's stupid no it, it's not done that way and it's so much fun and they just love it and these are what we're trying to do we're trying to get these types of ambassadors to help us whether it's like i showed you the you know the it's it's, it's easy to be kind wristband that we have coming yeah. out that that's a terrible color of it, but it's supposed to be neon green. My color ink is, uh, is, is obviously out of, uh, uh, out of my, uh, printer, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, and we're trying to have them bring our programs, our school shows, you know, the live musicals that go into schools and 45 minutes later, the kids understand the eight topics or nine topics, main topics that we teach, but they right. also get, how we're teaching it and how we're acting with each other. Yeah. So they understand, not only are they understanding what getting permission means, but what they also understand is, wow, those guys were really nice delivering that message and smiled and kind. I'd like to be like that. I would like to be a person who does this. And, and, and when I grow up, I want to be singing and dancing little iguana songs to other children because I would love that. Yeah, that's what this program is about. Sounds amazing. It is. It is. Why do you think people have to really realize how important the act of kindness is and how it could teach a child to be a totally different person when they grow up? You know, explain to people why, you know, they should take the initiative and and become an advocate of kindness, why it's so important and how by making an impact and how being an advocate can change our current life, the people who live in it, and how it could affect our future and our future generations to come. Well, we we all we all blow wind up our butts by telling people, oh well, gee, you know, the kids are our future, right? Kids are our kids are our future. The future is our children. What do we do to help them? I mean, we add so much stress and and you know, and, and overwhelmingness to children. Children are, are babies for goodness sakes. You know, yeah. I mean, just think about us, how stressed we are out of our minds. And, we're, and, and we look at our children like, Oh, gee, you don't have anything to worry about. Of course they do. You know, just because their problems aren't as big or as monumental as your problems in your mind. Yeah. They're that way in their minds. Yeah. We don't look at it that way. We look at it like, oh, well, what do you, you know, well, they have to go to school and they have to deal with 30 people in a classroom. Right. 29 of them have different ideas and different opinions. And it's so stressful for these kids. Somebody doesn't like you because you're a boy. Somebody doesn't like you because you're a girl. If somebody doesn't like you because you wear a hat, somebody doesn't like you because you don't wear a hat. Right. You know, you don't have the right shoes. You don't have the right clothes. That's why all schools should be in uniform. Mm -hmm. They should all have to be in uniform because then it takes that stress away that I don't have clothes to wear and stuff. Right. But it's so important to teach kindness. Look at, you know, put the television on for three minutes. Don't even go more than three minutes. Yeah. Put the news on for three minutes. And then you tell me why we need kindness in this world. Oh, for sure. We need it so bad because everybody, like I said, people aren't happy with who they are. Yeah. So that's why everybody else is 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 their enemy. Yeah. Okay? They're jealous of everybody. 
everybody that I'm jealous of everybody, you know, Oh, that, that person has three cars. Oh, he has a Mercedes Benz. Well, the man or the woman or whomever it was worked 80 hours a week for 40 years. Right. And now they've made it successful. So why would you hate them for being that way? Right. Why would you admire them and say, wow, I got it. Now, if they're selling crack cocaine on the sidewalk and hurting people's lives and making money, that's a different story. OK, right. that I don't atone one bit. But if they're working so hard in their lives to get ahead, how could you hate somebody? Why wouldn't you want to be like that person? Yeah. Oh, I'll never be like him. Why? You don't know him. You don't know her. Why wouldn't you be? Because they're not happy with who they are. So no matter who you are, they're not going to be happy with you. Exactly. So that's the first thing. We got to focus on waking up in the morning, looking out the window, seeing the Sunday and go, thank you for this beautiful day. I'm going to keep adding to it. I'm going to go right. out there and I'm going to. I'm going to make this day even more sunnier by helping someone or yes. seeing somebody crying and asking them if they could be helped. You know, kindness we have lost for whatever it is. My grandparents had it. I think we lost it when my parents <laughs> had kids. I think that was the, what do they call that group? The baby boomers or something? Yeah, I think baby I think it was boomers, the baby boomers. Somewhere like I don't know what I am called. You know, every every that's another thing. We label each other, right? Yeah. If you're grown, if you're born this time, you're a you're a baby boomer or a Gen Z or what? No, you're a human being. Okay. Right. Exactly. You're a human being, and there's no reason in the world that you can't be kind. Yeah. Unless you're just an ass. <laughs> you know. And I if agree. you are, if you're not kind, then you are an ass. And I'll tell you, you are, because you know what? Not you personally, but whoever is being mean to people is an ass. They, they, right. don't, they don't deserve, they don't deserve it. And they shouldn't have to deal with you. Right. You, know, you got an opinion. You know, I hear people all the time. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I feel. Well, yeah. You could tell me what it feel, but don't be mean. You know, <laughs> you can, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me, but don't be mean about it. Right. Be kind. You know, hey, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, oh, you stink. Oh, God. Right. Hey, why don't you just like be kind? Hey, you know, you need help. Can I can, you know, do, do you need a place to shower? I mean, do you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you don't mean about things. You just what's the saying? My grandmother used to tell me you get more with sugar than you do with vinegar. Right? Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. More with sugar with vinegar. We've lost the sugar. It's just yeah. vinegar. It's all it is out in our world. Yeah. This person is this. Well, when did you meet them? I didn't. Well, how'd you know this person is that way then? You right. know, I mean, how many people do you hear, whether it's a president or a senator or a Congress politician or, or, or a football player or a sporting? Oh, that person is this. Oh, how did you know that? Well, because uh, so-and-so told me. Did you ever check and find out? No, no, no. Well, then you should shut your mouth because you, you've never met the person. So you right. don't know what you're talking about until you exactly. meet the person. Then you could tell me up exactly. until then. No, you can't. What you're doing is mean. It's not kind talking about other people and not actually being a good human being. Right. So, you know, and, and the day is, you know, how people can help us is we, we need People to sign up, send us an email, whatever it is. They can they can become an affiliate. They can bring our program and our products into their community. They can help us with getting sponsors to bring a little iguana show to an elementary school in your area where 45 minutes later, these kids are going to learn eight topics that saved their lives. I guarantee you, not one, but multiple children will be affected from this show that day. It's right. amazing the stories we get right away from it. So they can become an ambassador. They can come on, send us emails, you know, request information. They can, you know, become an affiliate. They can generate revenues as well yeah. for themselves. You know, if they would like to, What what's wrong with making people go, oh, you're, you're going to make money off of that. So if you're putting in the time and the effort, there's absolutely no reason in the world that you can't do it. If you don't want to make money on it and you just want to help and do it, 
that's wonderful too. And that, that, that's beyond being kind, right. you know, but taking us and bringing us into their communities, helping us, whether setting up at a, uh, a craft fair or a, a school show or a convention or, you know, or down in New Jersey, you know, set up a table of little iguana stuff and mm -hmm. let people buy it or share it with them and say, bring this into your school, bring these, you know, books into your school. All the products we make are incredible because they actually teach children something and right. help them. They're not awful, you, you know, items either. They're fun. They're colorful. They're, they're easy to use because <laughs> as, as my staff tells me, they make everything so that if I can make it, any two to eight year old can mm -hmm. use it and, yeah. and, and do it. So they test it on me before they test it on the kids. So if I can do it, then it's a good it's a good fit for uh, for a child. <laughs> Wonder what they're trying to tell me though. I, th I think there's some some something below that surface that they're trying. To... <laughs> but we are we are looking for people to help us take us to their area, generate revenues for themselves. This is an incredible job, um, a position for like a a mom with children um, who are growing up because they can be part of their lives too. What better way for children to learn than to actually be doing it hands-on? Right. And then, you know, we have other kids. I mean, we've seen it. We have, I think, 12 or 13. We just started this affiliate program just recently. And you have people like the other day when we did story time at Little Hearts Playroom, we, we booked story time. That's other things they can do. They can do libraries. They can go into head starts. They can yeah. go into to um, anywhere that they where children are read the story to them be part of it you know um, you know get into their community get it out there I mean we did it and we sold hundreds of dollars worth of stuff in an hour and a half and we yeah. weren't even really there to sell stuff so if you get into these other programs where you can sell stuff and your your focus is selling things yeah you can make quite a bit of money and, and save lives and your children around you yeah. learn how to be much better people because they have to right. interact in a kind way. And it's really awesome to see it. I mean, you, you got the trifecta there. What's that horse race thing? You know, the trifecta, yeah. you, know, trifecta. you got the three wins, you know, you, you're making money, you're, you're with your family and, and your children are learning, you know, not only how to interact with other human beings, you know, sometimes you used to hear that, Oh, you're a car salesman. You know, people would say that, you know, trying to be derogatory. Oh, you're just a car salesman. That's because you're able to speak to another human being. Right. I look at it like that's that's a compliment. Yeah. You, know, it, you might think you might be saying it as a negative, but I'm happy that I can speak to other human beings very oh, easily. You 100%, know, I never yeah. was before when I when I was a child because of my upbringing and you know and being you know uh abused and neglected and 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 by many other you know by people you yeah. know and you know i couldn't even talk to another human being but now i can i see it you know i i i i've been able to get over that hump i guess you would call it and yeah and, you know only took me 50 years to get self-esteem and self-worth again you know but um I see it all the time. And I, I believe people can help us, especially with our worldwide day, you know, just get it out there into the hands of people, share it with uh, television, your local access channels about the day, your radio stations, you know, whether they're the small, you know, the low, low powered or high powered. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're going to have an incredible website. It's going to be in August. We haven't picked the date yet but we will be announcing it very soon, probably within one of these podcasts that we're doing. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a wonderful thing. And I urge everyone that would like to do something, you know, people say, Oh, what can I do? Right. How do I make the world a better place? Because it's so hard, it's so much hate, but we've got to focus on our kids. We got to help our children get through this, whether mm -hmm. it's, 
understanding that they don't have to buy birthday presents, you know, having having parents have birthday parties that aren't gift required. OK, they're they're and they don't have to be at a place, you know, where kids are running around and going crazy. They can they can be at your house. They can right. make some popcorn and make some check mix, you know, buy a box of checks and put it in the oven. And, yeah. you know, I mean, there's so many things you could do that doesn't cost money, but include all the friends and 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 not require them to bring gifts, you know, or pay homage to your child. You know, I bring you these gifts. No, 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 no. Just come over, have fun. We're gonna we're gonna watch Bobby's favorite movie today, everybody. And we're gonna sit around and we're gonna just sit around if that's what all you can do. Right. Have fun. So kindness is something we desperately need again back to our world today. So we desperately need to bring kindness back to teach our children that there is a better way. I mean, we have so much. When did all of a sudden mental health get so out of control? Right. And, and and it's mental health as in, you know, back when I was young boy, we call those people crazy. It's not crazy. It's it's having issues of something, not being able to handle certain things in your life, you know, and you yeah. need help to handle those things. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Ask, you know, right. talk, don't keep it, you know, bottled up inside. Just, just, I mean, let it out. I talk to myself for goodness sakes. I'm the only one that I can handle, I guess, you know, <laughs> I, I tell myself all these things that I want to do and change, but yeah, they can help us. They can sign up. They can contact us. They can go to our website. You know, um, the other thing we'd like to do too is, any parent we'd love to give the free gift away that uh the parent guide that we have i don't know how we could get the name up on the site or anything okay. but we might be able to put in the um the, mm -hmm. the website that we that i sent you yeah because we'd love for them to have at least see what we do right you know read through it look at it it's online so it's not a, a hard thing to do and, and check out the music and see what 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 world do we live in and how we are going to make the world a better place? And like I said, we have to start with our children. Older people are already set in their ways. It's too hard. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only fool in the world that believes this, but you know, we could get back just as fast right now. We've, we've spiraled out of control. People say, oh, we can't do anything. Yes, we can. We could spiral back up again. Oh, okay. definitely. 100%. Starts with our kids. Yeah. Definitely. And I, I definitely do see like, you know, with our with our newer generation, they do look at a lot of things differently. They look at things in a better way. They're not, they don't labelize and stigmatize as much as we did growing up that we were right. taught to labelize and, and stigmatize. And, you know, and it was a, a terrible thing that that kind of spiraled into generation, into generation, into generation. But now you're starting to see it unspiral. And you're seeing the new generation has a more open mind. We we say things about the new generation, but they are open minded and they do sure. accept a lot more things than the other society, you know, other generations did. And they are more um, they're they're not as uh, as judgmental. And I can't say it to all about all, but I could say that a large I see that in a large group of people. Sure. Agreed. Absolutely. They see things. They see things as as is what my grandfather would say the the oh la di da di da di way you know just oh well you know because we had to be focused you know mm -hmm. but by third grade you had to know what you wanted to be in your life you know and you needed to start working for that you know and you know buy the pool you know buy the tool pouch for the kid he's going to be a carpenter but honey he's only two i don't care buy the tool pouch for him you know i mean so yeah. you know nowadays you know, there's so many things that, again, they have so much to worry about. Remember the days when me and you would go outside and play all day? And, mm -hmm. you know, the only time you went home is if you you ripped your pants. And even then, you they probably didn't go or hurt yourself or, you were, you know, I mean, 
you you stayed out and then the the the, the fire horn went off or the street lights came on and you had to get your butt home by then you know and now you can't let your kids go outside and play by themselves it's 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 just not fair it's just not fair to them so yeah we got to help them we got to help them through it you know let them let them know that yeah you know what you're eight years old and yeah it's really pretty bad for you right now but Mm -hmm. i guarantee you in 10 more years you're gonna be doing this you know and give them that give them that uh the pat on the back or the push to make them want to get to that level so I see it. I see it being able to change. I really do. And I, oh, I, can't I definitely wait don't. to be the, I can't wait to be the change. I can't wait to be that, that person who helps our children, you know, drugs, alcohol are out of control. And that's because of, you have a, 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 a crappy childhood. I mean, I'm, I'm up here now watching my local news in Manchester, New Hampshire, where the father beat the little girl to death. I mean, and then, and and that's that's just out of control that's yeah. that's the opposite of kindness right okay and and i can't fix that person but if i had the chance i might have been able to fix that young girl who was only 5 years old right but now we don't because some some person some animal doesn't want to doesn't understand that it's easier to be kind than it is to be a mean person. Oh, That's another great thing. You know, it's easier to be a kind person than it is to be a mean person. I agree. <laughs> and Definitely. people like you more. They do. I mean, again, the other trifecta, you know, yeah, it's easier. People like you more. People invite you to parties. <laughs> 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 where can people find the parent guide on your website? So they go on your homepage. Where can they find it when they go on your homepage? You know, that's a good question. Um, so they I just... know that we'll have the, the, the link. The link. I don't know exactly where it is on our, on our website. Okay. I have to ask the, the chief person who knows everything. But just um, go on the website and scroll around, look for that parent guide and it'll be yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and like I said, if we can put a link on this podcast, they could find it, you know, okay. uh, uh, right away. They can just cut it, paste it, put it in and get their free download, you know, get their free, uh, their free guide. Sure. And, you know, I, I think this is, you know, a great thing. And I think also, you know, this would be great for when, when you're talking about your, your special event, even to bring all these ideas into, you know, um, you know, daycares and to bring it into maybe people speaking to the mayors of their towns sure. and, you know, going into maybe speaking to the superintendents and, you yes. know, and yeah. really like spreading the word to a higher authority, to, you know, groups of individuals and organizations that have a lot of um, power. Something like this could be very valuable, you know, and I think, anyone that hears this podcast today that can spread the word, you know, word of mouth is the most powerful tool when it comes to, you know, any type of marketing and to spread the word about little iguanas and to spread the word about their special event. You'll have all that information on your website. Yes. About the event coming yes. up. Oh yeah. Yeah. We've got some really great events coming up. So we're excited about it. The big day, once we launch, once we announce the date, we'll have a page for the uh, Kindness Day. You know, we host uh, Fun in the Sun color runs and family walks, Mm -hmm. not only here physically, but we do them virtually so that people can take part in them in their neighborhoods. We have people that take part in them all over the country and, you know, they get the t-shirt and they get the dye packs and you know, and they have their event and they, they yeah. throw it and they color themselves. It's it's really cool. It's actually a fun day. It's fun, very fun day. But, you know, I see people that could host host craft fair and raffles in their community to raise money and to raise awareness or, you know, host a, a, a parent night where parents can come and listen to, here's the situation. This is what we do. This is how we do it. Would you like to be part of this? And, 
you know, people can sign up and be part of that. I mean, as, as an affiliate, you know, you're getting 40% of, uh, of anything that's digitally made already. So that's the memberships and that's the digital download printouts, things that are on Etsy and Pinterest and all those other um, platforms. Um, so that's 40%. That's, that's incredible money. And then you have the books and the affirmation cards and the membership kits and the, and the activity boxes. And, you know, they get 20% off of that. So, um, you know, it's, it's a really cool thing. Like I said, see, seeing it, talking about it is one thing, but actually being able to set it up and watch other people interact and purchase the things. Yeah. That's when we decided, you know what, we're going to start looking for people all over the United States and even other places because it works so well, you know, this is 3000 shows later, 3 million people later, you know, our live musicals have performed for and stuff. So it's, it, we know it works. We've seen the lives that it's been saved, you know, yeah. that were saved. So now it's just a matter of getting somebody in another city or town and, you know, their, their little geographics, their little demographics is this area. So they can, like I said, set things up at the library or set things up in their community center or, you know, wherever they get a chance to, to go YMCA, you know, any of those types of places where they're hosting community events, yeah, get into them and, and, and say, Hey people, this is what we do. And I think, you know, it not most, a lot of people wouldn't even care about just even being an affiliate. They would just want to help and bring it into their organization or bring it into their facility or bring it into the, you know, the event that they're having. Is there like a phone number or an email or something, or just go to your website? How could they contact you personally? Because they might just want to help you, you know, with their organization, their company, their, you know, facility, whatever it may be. They just, sure. want, you know want to just contact well, they can you. go they can go right to our calendar and and schedule something uh, at littleiguanausa.org or they can just send us an email through contact us they can go to our affiliate page and find out about that they can go to our products page and find out about the products they can go to um, the live musicals to see you know go to your, our youtube and actually watch some of the activities that we've done see some of the people that talk on our behalf mm -hmm. um you know they're not going to be alone they're not going to be disappointed i mean we've we have police officers and and school teachers and grandmas and nurses and um um mayors uh and and you know governors i mean there, there's a lot of different people that you know, you'll see talking about us, movie stars, actors, I mean, um, you know, so they won't be alone. And as we start coming out of the pandemic, this is, you know, three years, even though it's 30 years we've been doing it, it's three years in the making for the affiliate, the products, the educational stuff. And we've been testing it and working on it to make sure. And you know, like I was saying, the last time we were here, we just don't make product. We we make products that do what we say they want to do. You know, our book, A Gift from the Heart, right? Mm -hmm. You know, talked about the QR code. You scan the QR code, the book comes to life. Mm -hmm. And a storyteller starts reading the story too. So that as you're sitting there reading you're hearing what they're saying. So now you hear how the words are pronounced. Right. Then you hear how they're used in the story. Yeah. And then there's music that re, you know, that, that, that is played during the time when there's a message that needs to be learned. So this one has get permission. So when it gets to what do I need to do? Well, you have to get permission. Okay. So right. what is permission? Boom. A song comes up. And start singing what it is, you know, to the children, the song ends, the book goes back to reading again. So they hear the words, how they're used, they see the words, you know, how they're used within the, how they're pronounced, how they're used. You have music that, it, you know, um, will have you retain those lessons that we are about, the, the important lessons. 
Yeah. So the product aren't, you know, like our affirmation cards, you know, you, you, you pull a card out. What we recommend is when you take a card out, if there's multiple children there, you know, don't let the teacher or the person in charge say, this is what it means, boys and girls. Right. Because it doesn't mean that to some of them. Right. Okay. So you can't tell them what it means if you're asking them what it means. Exactly. Because what it means to them is different than what it means to you. Right. So we talk about discussing how the card is. So if it says, you know, I'm a strong person. Well, what does that mean to you? Some right. people say strong, I can lift the house. Okay. Some people will say, you know, I, I don't do drugs. I say, no, I'm strong. Some people will say, you know, other things. I'm strong at math. I can do math, but you know, so to everybody, it doesn't mean the same thing. Right. It's good to hear all the children discuss what it means to them because it may open the eyes to another child. Like, yes. Oh, I didn't know about that. So it's really, you know, like I said, everything we design is not just a piece of something, you know, just to sell. Mm -hmm. It has to work or right. we don't, we don't do it. You know, our membership kits are our activity boxes. You know, we have activity boxes about get permission. We have activity boxes about water safety. We have activity boxes about run, 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 yell and tell and who's a stranger. You know, it's not like you open it up and it's like a bad guy chasing a good. I mean, it's just activities that you do drawings or word finds or, you know, whatever it is. And then you're making a craft, a certain craft. But you're listening to the music yeah. that, you know, is about that lesson. So when you're listening to the music, doing these activities, you're doing them in a fun way mm -hmm. and you're doing them in a non-threatening way. Right. So you're learning, they're learning, even though they have no idea that they're learning. Right. They're learning because they're absorbing it. They're doing play learning and music. Are these packages that they can purchase on your website? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. They can buy them right on our products page. We have uh, the books. We have the affirmation cards. We have activity boxes. Yeah, memberships. You know, the $29.99 a month, they have access to all of our different lessons, all of the digital printouts if they yeah. want. Um, or they could just pay, you know, one fee of $299 for the year, which right. is a lot cheaper than you know what you would pay if you were doing it monthly and then even schools schools and you know the bigger schools it's 999 dollars for the membership for the year but that allows k pre-k through second third grade to use you yeah. know all different classrooms so you know it's not thousands of dollars it's it's right. it's, it's affordable for everyone that can afford it you know, it's, it's, it's affordable. And if not, there's still stuff on our site for free that they can use. You know, I get yelled at all the time. No, you can't put stuff up free, you know, but what happens to the people that can't afford it? And so we try, try to help everybody. Right. That's wonderful. Now, if you had to take all this information that we just talked about and you had to emphasize like in three takeaways, what are three things you really want to keep in people's mind? I, I'm sure one of them is about the event, but overall, like what are like three takeaways that you'd like to emphasize from everything that we discussed today? Well, what I'd like to do is let everyone know that your children aren't too young to learn this stuff and what we teach. And that's why we focus on two-year-olds. Though we tell people to play the music for their children right away, as soon as they're born even, because children absorb music. And though they may not be able to talk back to you, right. they're absorbing and hearing it, okay? And, they are, uh, and they'll start understanding it. So your children are never too young to learn about this stuff. Right. That's the first thing, especially in our society that, you know, most abused, neglected ch children's age is newborn or cradle the three so yeah. so it's so it's definitely not too young yeah. that's the first thing the second thing is i want people to know how easy it is to help your children it doesn't it's not hard it's not overwhelming it doesn't scare you what we do is fun silly just having a good time um and and learning okay mm -hmm. that's that's the second thing that little iguana does 
teaches in a way that children will remember for a long time, if not forever. Yeah. But it's not overwhelming for parents that have to introduce this to them. Right. And the third thing that I really need people to understand is that this, people say, why do you do this, Jim? If not me, who? Right. Okay, seriously. Because there are no comprehensive programs in the United States, okay? There are none. Yeah, we teach one thing, and you know, Smokey the Bear does fire safety, right? You know, Eddie the Eagle does gun safety, Right. You know, so-and-so does something else. Some-and-so does bullying. Yeah. But if you follow this kindness pattern in who we are, we won't need bullying classes because right. people will be treating others. They learn it at a young age how to treat each other exactly. the way they want to be treated, okay? 100%. So we won't have that issue. And then drugs and alcohol abuse can go away because they're having a healthy and they're having a strong upbringing yeah and and that and we need people to help us if they believe in it if they don't believe in what we believe in i i get it okay yeah you know spare the rod spoil the child or whatever whatever sayings we used to have when we were kids you know right being thrown downstairs and beaten with a baseball bat you know i mean you know i mean you don't need to do that right you, you can have to you might have to say no or explain it to them 500 times until they get it right it's much better than beating them and you know and nobody wins on that right so you know use our programs help us get into the hands of everyone generate some money for yourselves if that's what you need to do Mm -hmm. but you know we, we were talking as we were joking before we came on about becoming like a a tupperware or an avon lady or a mary Kay, you know or be the little iguana, you know, the little iguana troop where they go out there and they they save lives and make some money. Yeah. What a, what what a crazy thing, huh? What yeah. a, what a crazy concept. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I think it's yeah. a great concept. I think really people should look into it more and I think all these great events that's coming up that you're going to produce and and have, I think are going to be worthwhile and I think people should keep an eye, eye out for them look for them it'll be on our website too and it's something that could actually change you know the life of your child and maybe save your child and you you never know what can happen in this world but if we if we really teach our children the right way about safety and about life itself and about being kind and about you know and 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 giving love to one another you know, what a great new generation will pop out. And there's always room for change. Just because you live one way for so long doesn't mean you can't change. So change is always possible. You know, it's just with the right guidance, the right support, uh, anything is possible. I believe the same, you know, like I tell the children and tell the parents, you know, our programs, we, we want children to be prepared. We don't want them to be scared. We want them to be prepared. Exactly. So we don't have to scare them into learning. We could just prepare them into learning all the stuff so that when they're not in our, in our, you know, in our presence, right? Yes. I mean, most children are, are, are gone from our presence out of sight or whatever, you know, more than they're with us. Right. So when you're with each other, I understand, yeah, you don't have to teach that to your kid. Maybe, I don't know. I always say you have to. Right. Well, what happens when they're not yeah with you? and that's what we want them to be prepared for right you know? if johnny tells them hey let's go jump off this roof into this lake yeah you know i mean we want them to go well you know first let's think what's in the lake you know i mean how high is it off the roof yeah you know, at least have the thought process behind it not just go okay let's right. do it. so exactly want them to be prepared. And I think this is a great program. I think everybody should take a look at your website and tell everybody once again what your website's name is. It's littleiguanausa.org. It's L-I-L iguana, I-G-U-A-N-A, USA.org. I love it. 
Jim, this has been amazing. Like always, Thanks. you know, I yeah. love what you do. I love your organization. I love what you stand for. I think you're doing an amazing job. And I think everybody, you know, should take a, a moment, you know, a small portion of their time to do something, to participate and be an advocate, to help people and to help our, our future generation and to help the children now that are young and vulnerable and we are molding right now. We need to really focus on teaching them the right way of doing things and the right way to protect themselves from any type of harm. So I keep doing what you're doing. I'll have all the information for it for Jim was or, uh, organization and also for his events coming up so you can check them out. And if anyone wants to be an advocate or become an affiliate, you know, um, his information will be in the description box also. And I encourage people to do that. My whole life, I've been an advocate for many different organizations. And it's, it's a worthwhile um, and it's a great feeling when you could help other individuals just by sharing and verbalizing and doing little, little uh, activities and helping out. It's wonderful when you see that everything, that little things you put in can make a big difference in other people's lives. So I encourage it. And thank you so much, Jim, for being on this show. This has been amazing, like always. Appreciate you. Thank you. You're very welcome. You have a ready for the snowstorm. Oh my God. Don't say that because you're not too far from me. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh my goodness. I I was watching the news today and they said, Oh, those poor people in New York and New Jersey are gonna have a rude awakening. (laughs) Uh, I think I'm gonna buy a ticket to Florida. Oh my god. (laughs) That'll settle it. (laughs) So everybody have a great day. Oh, you're very welcome. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you very soon. Talk to you soon. And Jim, it's a pleasure. And I'll see you soon also because you're part of our podcast community and you have your own podcast on our show. So everybody look out for Jim because he has a whole bunch of things to share and he's on a roll, man. He is here to save the world and save all the children in it. So go listen to him and parents get fresh new ideas on what you could do to help your children also. So thank you, Jim. You have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.